What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today I'm kind of reflecting back on a lot of the comments that we kind of discussed and talked about in yesterday's video of 5 things that need to change in Idle Heroes. I missed a really, really big one, and I'm embarrassed I actually did, so today we're probably going to discuss that exact topic. So we've already got one hashtag going around in the community of hashtag no purchasing. This one I think might get a little bit more oomph behind it because I feel like free to play players can definitely get behind this hashtag. And this one's going to be hashtag bring back CCL. So as you guys know on newer servers it's still around but um, once you get past about like the I think it's like the three month mark somewhere in that ballpark maybe it's like five or six. It goes away on your account and it disappears and all that nice 6v6 competition on your server disappears. So let's jump into the game. Let's talk about it. Let's get going. One thing this game severely lacks nowadays is like a good 6v6 game mode when it comes to PvP. This game literally turned into one to two years ago. The main focus for whales were PvP. It's still kind of a focus, but there's just so many game modes that are PvE oriented. There's Void Vortex, there's Realms Gate, there's Void Arc, there's literally the Void Campaign. You can't get more PvE than that. You have Aspen Dungeon, you have more Sealands, you have Tower of Dream. There's just so many things that are PvE related. I mean, even when you go into your guild now too, you have the Star Expedition. That's more PvE content. You do have Ace Championship, which is pretty much a giant PvP battle. Same with Guild Wars. There's a lot of cool things going on in game right now. I think you have to agree there's a lot of stuff to strive for on your account and tons of end game goals. Sadly, it feels like this tab here has become one of the least important. We have Interdimensional Arena, which is kind of cool. It's fun. The downside of it, in my opinion, is you can attack as many times as you want. You guys know I like energy-based systems where everybody gets an equal number of fights to see exactly how many points they can get. Doesn't really work out with uh, with IDA. You see some like really weak accounts getting up there. But, you know, I guess that's fine considering this is across every single server. We have Trial of Champion. Uh, this one is, I think it's pretty good. I kind of like this Trial of Champion better than the old version where you had three lineups. It was essentially IDA with three lineups and you could just like move your heroes around, get easy victories. This one now you have to use a hero of 12 or a team of 12 heroes and it's pretty solid. I like it. You move down to free team arena. It's just a thing nobody wants to do. It is an energy based system, which I absolutely love. But I just don't like the fact it's like three on three. It's decent. A lot of people don't want to maintain this throughout the week. So they don't want to be the leader, which is why a lot of people get stuck on their quest here on Comeback Radio. One of the quests is you literally have to win a battle as an owner of a free team arena. Just one battle. Just complete a battle. Not even win a battle. Nobody seems to do it. And then lastly, we have what is like a failed attempt at bringing CCL back, except across all servers. Uh, this is a game mode I just don't enjoy. I, I Here's the thing with this. I'm, I'm still hoping and I still think they have a Star Arena fix coming in the future. What I wish they would have done is they would have just made you go, okay, here's your team for the get day. You get 10 battles. If you win them, cool. If you don't, great. Instead, what they've done is they've made it so it's this like you can do an endless grind to get as many points as possible. And it's just like, oh my goodness. You can see you can go back and like, man, we're already on season 19. Holy cow. I think Jesus kind of gave up doing his stuff because he's, I don't think he's been on the list for a while. <laughs> Yeah, we got we got new people. Nice name. Uh, but yeah, this is what I feel like was an attempt to revive Crystal Crown League. Just doesn't work out. There's something about the intercompetition on your own server. Because really everything nowadays is cross server, which is good because it means if you're on a server that's kind of dead or something like that, you don't feel as alone. But it was nice seeing those same names all the time. Now, of course, you have leaderboards floating over here. You've got like any rankings here. You've got, of course, rankings 
all the way over in here too so you still have some competition but it's turned into pve competition and not pvp competition and then you go into like gate of the void and then this competition is literally versus like everybody everybody i mean even void arc is literally against everybody you're fighting for the top against every server against people who have been playing the game for literally four to five years at this point yeah five years i think we just had the fifth anniversary so we're kind of lacking something that uh that kind of gives you that camaraderie against other people even guild wars you remember back in the day guild wars that used to be against people within your server cluster so your 10 server cluster from like one to zero so like 791 to 800 that was a server cluster that you fought within it used to be the same too with your arena free team arena free team up arena i think it's still the same for free team up arena right i don't think that's changed uh trial of champion has changed though because trial of champion i believe used to be within just your server cluster as well you usually wanted to make a new account on a server that was a very low number because that means you were closer to playing the same amount of time as other people. But the lack of Crystal Crown League, I think, is one of the biggest downfalls of PvP in Idle Heroes. So let me know what you guys think. We're going to use the hashtag bring back CCL. I think that's exactly what I'm going to put right below the video. You can check whichever one I put in the title and above it in the hashtags. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're finally going to have a video for going for our 80,000 subscribers. So as it is right now, we're at just about 77,000 subscribers. We're 3,000 subscribers away. When we hit that mark, I think what we're going to do, an easy way to do it now is with the gifting system. So it, you can be on either iOS or Google Play. We'll do a gifting, and I think we'll do, we could do it a little more premium. Usually I do like a $100 gift card. Maybe I'll do something special for this one. Maybe we'll do 5,000 Starry Gem giveaway. Instead of doing the whole gift card thing, because it's difficult with different regions, all that weird stuff, uh, we'll instead do this right here. We'll, we'll go into the game. We'll do maybe two of these packs. I'll give away 5,000 Starry Gems to the winner. So what you guys have to do is in the comments below, you got to use that hashtag BringBackCCL. Yeah, that that's the most important part here because we got to get we got to get reputation and then i'll pick someone out of those comments as soon as we hit eighty thousand subscribers to win five thousand starry gems now remember you got to be subscribed to win this as well i've actually picked one before where i went and looked and then they were not a subscriber of the channel make sure you're subscribed hopefully you guys enjoy this one see you guys next time